G'day. This is a uh, the next lesson along, and we're looking at uh, piecework, royalties, and uh, income from the government. Now, as far as it goes, all of these are you know they're, they're a running theme. Okay, they're either going to be percentages, or you're going to get paid per item or per hour. So they're, they're pretty much the same. But the definitions uh, as they go is piecework is that you get paid per piece. So people who are fruit pickers, people who uh, work on production lines that uh, require them to make a lot of objects. And the idea is it's an incentive to work hard. The more you make, the more you earn. Okay? Some, of, some places, although not all, have flexible hours. So it allows you to uh, you know, work as much or as little as you want. Disadvantages is that it doesn't necessarily mean, it doesn't mean that you're uh, necessarily permanent. It's just basically you get paid per item that you create. So if you don't make anything, you don't earn anything. And super and sick pay and holiday pay, uh, in some cases, uh, don't happen. Royalties tend to be for uh, things that you create, like intellectual property. So songs, books, anything creative uh, that you make and you sell, people will give you royalties. And they tend to be in a percentage. Now, the idea, or percentage of, of profit or of revenue. Okay. Now... Um, it, much like piecework, there's an incentive to work hard, and you can do this whenever you want. You know, when you write a song, is your choice. So you, you don't have to do it between nine and five. However, if you don't sell anything, you don't get any money, and superannuation, sick day, and holiday pay. If you're going to live exclusively off royalties, well, then you're going to have to organise all of that yourself because nobody's effectively employing you per se. Now, allowances are paid uh, to people who aren't financially secure. So. If we're looking at you know youth allowance, uh, jobs, new start, um, things like that, and they tend to be just a table that's organised. Now these ones, uh, there's plenty of examples in the book, but I'll be doing a piecework and a royalty uh, example just to get us started. Here's a nice easy one. Albert earns twenty six dollars thirty for each chair he upholsters. If you're going to upholster six chairs a day for five days, calculate his weekly income. This is really nice and simple, but it's the same, effectively the same process as what we've done before, in that we have to figure out how many items he's going to make per week. So his weekly income. Let's write that here so I've got a bit more room. Is number of items. per week, multiplied by the payment that he gets per item, which is $26.30. Now the question is, how many does he make per week? Well, if he posts six chairs a day for five days, that's six times five times $26.30. Now I put things in brackets just for ease, okay? Anytime you do it, just a little, oh, but we have to do this first, we whack, it up, whack that in brackets. Doesn't, in this case, it wouldn't change anything, but we're just doing it anyway. So 6 times 5 is 30, times by 26, 30. 30 times $26.30, 789 dollars. Worded, worded question, worded answer. Albert earns 789 dollars. Albert earned $780.89 this week. If we then look at our royalties example, this one's a little bit too close to home for a failed venture that, uh, that I've done, which I'm not going to go into. WYSIWYG gets a royalty package of 11% for all iTunes and CD sales for his math-based rap music. Very close to my heart. Calculate his royalties if he sells three CDs at $10 each and 12 iTunes downloads at 99 cents each. So this one's just slightly more complicated, but, and it's a very optimistic, because I don't think iTunes pays you that much. But anyway, uh, he gets 11% of all these iTunes and CD sales. So they're two separate things. And in this case, his income is 11% of, which is multiplied, 
is three CDs times by at $10 each. So that's the first bit. Plus 11% of his 12 downloads at 99 cents. Now please note, it's kind of hard to see. It's probably on the edge there. Sorry if it was out of frame. I'm losing a little bit of focus. 11% of 12 downloads at 99 cents. So that's $0.99. Because here we've got $10, and here we've got it's dollars and cents, so we have to put them in the same unit. So it's 99, so I've turned them both into dollars. And then it becomes just like every, just like all the others. We just whack it into the calculator. So the first one I'll put in a bracket, 11% of three CDs at $10 each, plus 11%, oops, what did I forget? I forgot the brackets. 11% of, which is times, 12 downloads at $0.99 each. In other words, $0.99 cents each. Press Enter. And Wizzy G earns a grand total of $4.668. Ooh, here we've got a bit of a problem here. It doesn't come out nice and neatly. $4, we can only go to cents. So it's got we're dollars, we've got 10 cents, and we've got 1 cents. So we have to cut it off here. So because this is 5 and above, we have to round up. Remember, we round up if it's 5 five and above. So it ends up being $4.61. And I'll put just two decimal places. Just there, just so that uh, the person marking it knows that you've rounded up to two decimal places. But, worded question, worded answer. Wizzy G. Earns four dollars and sixty one cents for his efforts through royalties. Worth every penny, no doubt.